We're headed down to the Keys and this is the first time we're taking our flats boat down there. And uh, we packed up, ready to go. And an hour into the trip today, one of our back tires on the trailer blew out. And um, thank God we had some people stop by on the side of the road with us, help us change it. We put our spare on. And uh, after we got the spare put back on, we got back on 95, on turnpike actually. And then we had the second tire blow out. So now we're here at Tire Kingdom and we are getting a new, brand new pair of trailer tires. And then we're gonna be back down on our way to the Keys. So these things happen and uh, you gotta expect the worst, so. <laughs> on the road and we are headed down to the Keys. We are in Key Largo area right now I believe and um, so we're on the road and hopefully our tires won't blow out again but we've got brand new tires and a spare so we're good to go and we should be there in an hour and 20 minutes. We got 60 miles to go so maybe we can do some boating this afternoon. We'll see when we get there. All right, so <laughs> we finally got here. Stop laughing. <laughs> it's, it's funny. Everybody says you laugh too much. I don't laugh too much. I'm a happy fella. I got a wonderful young lady here. But uh, we dropped the drone off. I crashed the drone into a tree, so we had to drop it off in Miami to get fixed. So it took us off the highway, and then we got back on the highway uh, on the turnpike, and a, a tire blew out. Uh, some two great guys stopped to help us. It was awesome, uh, really good guys. Yeah. Um, I had all this stuff pretty much. They had a better jack than I did, so we got it up and put the spare on real quick. Uh, but then, um, the uh, 100 yards down the road, the spare blew up. And yeah. <laughs> that only and happens so, to us. Only happens to us. So, uh, anyway, so we're here with the, uh, what is it, the Coconut K Resort. And here's our room. It's pretty nice, actually. We got two queen beds. One for me, one for Darcy. And it's got a nice bathroom. But the good part is to look outside. We got a boat right here. So we're uh, gonna hop in the boat. We're gonna go look around and uh, see what's going on. Darcy's having a little snack, and uh, we're gonna see what's going on. We're gonna go. It's about five o'clock already. Uh, we're planning to get like a three quarters of a day fishing today, but uh, between the drone and the tires, we. Um, Got a pretty late start. So it's yeah. about five o'clock. We're just gonna go check out what's going on. Check out back a cut here in Marathon. And uh, just check out the, some tarpon grounds. We're gonna try and get a tarpon. So uh, let's go, we'll show you what happens. Finally on the boat and we're headed out to do some exploring. And on the way out of the marina, there's this like really cool little pathway we gotta follow to get out. And it's like you're in the middle of the jungle and um, we're in the Keys. Headed out that little area and we actually ended up getting the boat stuck in some shallow water so once we figured out where the channel was we headed down to Vaca Cut and we are here right now and we're just checking it out the currents ripping through here and uh, we're just trying to see what's going on and what boats are doing what people are doing and I think we're gonna start fishing here shortly for some tarpons all right so we've been driving around this uh, channel the marathon trying to see what's up uh, you know it's a new area for us so sometimes that's a little difficult uh, we, I just saw a tarpon roll so uh, it's, the sun's coming down a little bit I think the tide's about to stop but um, anyway we got a little dusk action I just saw a tarpon roll we're gonna throw some crabs we got six crabs a dozen shrimp and uh, we'll try and make it happen if Darcy can get the damn crab on the line Kind of getting freaked out with these crabs. <laughs> he has no claws, but I don't get to use crabs for bait too often, so it's a little bit of a new thing to me. But that's okay. Ah! <laughs> His fucking pitch His pictures are getting me. <laughs> He's going crazy now. Okay, stop it. I'm trying to hook you. You're tarpon bait. So 
So we're still fishing and we've been here a couple hours now and we're not having too much luck. We haven't really caught anything. This is actually the first fish I've caught of the trip. The little lane snapper. I'm going to release them. But it's been kind of hard just trying to figure out the area and deciding what we're going to do. We've anchored about four or five times and every time we anchor we realize we can't really fish there because weed is coming in with the current and we, with weed it's really unfishable. It just gets on your line and your hooks and your baits and you can't really fish properly. Um, but we've seen a lot of tarpon. Tarpon are rolling everywhere. So it's just a matter of finding the right place at the right time to um, catch these fish. And we'll be back tomorrow. So let me just catch this fish really quick. We'll be back tomorrow and um, you know, trying it again. And that, now that we got a lay of the land, we kind of know what we're doing. Um, so I'm not really too upset, but that's fishing, you know. You gotta try and catch fish. So I'm gonna keep at it and the sun's about to go down, so we're probably gonna head in soon. All right, I don't know how well this is coming out. I'm on my iPhone Plus, uh, iPhone 6 Plus, and uh, one of our fans, Richard Wagner, told us to go to this overseas pub in Marathon. We're going to check it out. We'll tell you how it is. The overseas pub and grill. What did I say? The overseas pub. Oh, overseas pub and grill. <laughs> and we're right here. Looks pretty cool. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Thank you. Well, don't say thank you yet. <laughs> oh, still good. We'll, we'll see. Uh, anyway, all right. It's food. Yeah, there we go. We're starving. It's about 9.30 at night here. Dinner time. <laughs> <laughs>